this wall here is actually used to be cottages. You can still see the outline of the door. You can still see the outline of the doorways here. Just see this. This was actually a doorway of a cottage here. Just so part of the medieval town. What we have here would have been homes for the workers of the castle and the abbey and just for the local, for the farm owners who were rich farm owners, mostly English landholders. So it would have been a very difficult life being a, a worker here in Ireland in the medieval times. Steps here. Oh, wow, that's the medieval, medieval steps. Ah, I should have bought my pick lock. I used to be out of pick locks. Yeah, yeah, the bigger they are, the better they are. The easier they were to pick. Yeah, we used to, my mates and I used to pick them. I guess they don't want us in there. So that's a good look at the interior. I'm sorry it's all, you know, a bit wonky, a bit hard to hold this selfie stick with the camera on the end. Uh -huh. Well, that was the best I can do, getting a bit of a look into that, this building. So, oh, going down the medieval steps. This is the Church of St. Mary's. This is the other church where the steeple. It's not much of a steeple, but that's the other marker. They went from St. John's Church in Buttervent to this Mary's Church here at Donorail. And they, the path was, they followed the path of the river, which is just down there. You see the bridge there. But this is where the steeple, the world's first steeple chase started and fin this is where it finished the very first one so you can imagine those two riders two gentlemen having that bet race to win to make it first to this steeple so you can imagine the crowd of people as the horsemen race to the finish line here at St Mary's Church in Donorail and thus it began a horse racing tradition that is famous all over the world. In 1752, two horsemen raised from the steeple of St. James Church, uh, St. James Church, sorry, but event to the steeple of St. Mary's Church, Donorail, a distance of 7.25 kilometers across ditches and banks. Well, the history does not record whether the Mr. O'Callaghan, Callaghan or Edmund Blake who won the race over. It does tell us the race was first ever steeplechase and the forerunner of steeplechase held throughout the world. So the St. Ledger family gave their name to the famous St. Ledger steeplechase at Doncaster. Oh yes. Wow. So there you go. A Mr. O'Callaghan or Edmund Blake. They were the first two riders to do a steeplechase. They made the bet, and history does not call who actually won that bet. Well, that's a pretty posh house there. Beautiful. This, we are actually in Donorail, and we're actually about to head, walk into. We're about to walk into Donorail Park. This is Donorail Court. You can actually get guided tours in there to have a look see.
And this is just one part of Donorail Park. It's a massive park here in Donorail in Ireland. And it just goes up for miles. You could go for a big long walk here. Large open space. Donorail Court overlooks part of the grounds of this particular manor house. They put, instead of putting a fence, they'll put a bit of a, a moat and put the wall there, put a wall there to stop the wildlife, the deer and that sort of thing, going into the ground. <laughs> this is Donoril Island and the rain is coming.